Hey everybody, Retro Stitch Gaming here again, back with the second episode in my Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Let's Play. Uh, the last episode we made it through the destroyed Raccoon City to the police station, just avoided Nemesis, seen Brad die, and now we're just going to take it from here and carry on. Uh, collect these green herbs up, get them combined together. Police station's a much different place compared to in the second game, as this is set slightly before. Most of it's boarded up. There's still probably some police officers alive in here, in certain places. Hell of a lot different. We only get to see a small portion of it uh, in this game. For more handgun rounds. Um, can't get on the computer until we've got the stars card. We're going to have to go and find. But here's the map. Yeah, as you can see, the police station is a hell of a lot smaller. Just see if there's anything else around here. No. Nope. This is the room that you first go in in Resident Evil 2 where you find Marvin. I believe he's actually in here. But he's wounded. We can't talk to him or anything. There's quite a lot of zombies in here as well. These must have been the ones that wounded him. Yep, there they come. Let's try and take these guys out. Oh, quite a few of them. And another one. Oh, getting a bit close. This is getting worrying. Oh crap, he's alive on the floor. Oh no, now we're in trouble. Oh, good push, Jill. Let's do it again, didn't really. There we go, that's better. Should be able to take them out quite easily now. Now that they're all down on the floor. Finish them off fairly easily. Run past, check out this room first. Yeah, here's Marvin. Marvin's report. Ah, oh, this is about the jewel that we need. Which is in the uh, evidence room. Anything else in here? Some shotgun shells. Brilliant. That's it. We'll, we'll uh... <clears throat> go and finish these zombies off. Oh, welcome Leon. There's Leon's desk. Nice little thing to see. Looks like there's a load of booze or something on the table. Ready for his uh, welcome party that he never got. off this last guy over here. There we go. No, you don't say. Yeah, there's loads of drinks, cups and everything on there. <laughs> right, into the evidence room. At least this isn't crowded with zombies like in the uh, second game. Is this the jewel? Yep. We also need to get the key from in here, but we can't get it until we've got the stars card. Reload just in case. Yeah, I believe it's round here. If I can run properly. Slightly wounded. Yeah, it's in here. We can't get in yet without the code. Right, make our way out here. I don't know if, uh, how many zombies are in here. There's bound to be a few. Yeah, here's another different type of female zombie. Like I said, there's a lot more variety of zombies in this game. She's not dead. Finish her off. Two more. He's not dead there. Not oh, reload. It's time to get up. Now he's dead. Him too. Make our way through here as we need to go to the. Um... Oh, I can't remember what the room's called now. That's where the card is. Oh, zombie dog. Let's reload just to be safe. Like I said, look, they're a lot more docile on this game. 
seem to be a lot more easy to avoid. Normally they'd be all over you straight away in the other games. Right, there it is on the table over there, but we'll see if there's anything else in here. Of use. Here's the oil painting you have to burn as um, Leon and Claire to get the red jewel out. Obviously we don't need that. The painting's still in one piece at the moment. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Doesn't look like it. We're going to have to use that herb to free up a bit of space. There we go. Star's key. Does what we need. I'm really hoping that if the Resident Evil 2 remake goes well, that they'll remake this game as well, as I think this would be brilliant up to date with Nemesis chasing you around. It'd be absolutely fantastic, especially to see more of Raccoon City in the uh, up to date graphics and gameplay. It'd be awesome. Check out the card. It's Jill Valentine's card. Now we need to go back to the main hall to um, activate it and get the key. Try and avoid this dog out here. Yep, see, ever so docile, just stroll straight past them. Lots of going back and forth and back and forth as in all Resident Evil games. I believe there's a hell of a lot of it in this game. Especially later on when you have to go back and forth throughout the city. Where are we going? Wrong way. I think it's really cool how you get to see the police station again in this game but they did it quite clever that you don't see much of it it's just a little quick in and out early on in the game maybe so you can get used to the game a bit more it's uh, somewhere familiar waste these free handgun bullets just to get a space because I can't be bothered to run all the way to the item box to come back again at least now I'll be able to get the key out free bullets shouldn't hurt too much get the key out if I can open it there we go zero one three one there's a cool little stars key now we can go get into our office I think we get grenade launch from the office which is brilliant it's like the best gun on this game you can get all the different rounds for it which is really cool the explosive, the acid, these there's freeze rounds as well. Oh crap, I didn't realise he was there. That was close. I believe there's also a massive fat zombie up on the balcony. Uh, when we go upstairs. Put that away for now, we don't need it. Put that away, we don't need that no more. Um, yeah, put the lighter away for now, there we go. Anything in here of use, David Mumai? Quick scan over this. Okay. Yeah. Da, da, da. Is there anything in here? I can't remember. Uh, no, I don't look like it. I 
I'm going to try and upload these episodes about two a week maybe. I'm also starting my other series now with my top tens and discussions and that sort of thing. So I'll try and put them up as often as possible. Hopefully get two Let's Plays up a week. As well as our top tens every Saturday. Doing a top ten Xbox 360 games for our next video. That was uh, very difficult. Oh, he's come flying at us and we're trapped. Great. Get off. Let's leave him. He'll be gone later, hopefully. I believe there's quite a few on the top of these stairs. Yeah, there they all are. Look. Oh, missed. There we go, got him this time. Come down the stairs quite quick. Oh, I believe he can puke on you as well. Yeah, there we go. Just dodged it. I'm going to get the shotgun out here. Don't want to get caught. There we go. Get that one back out now. Just finish him off now. We've got ourselves a bit of space. Is he dead? No, he's crawling. Missed. How oh, have you missed from there? There we go. Yeah, I believe there's a big fat one hiding up here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. He's a big boy. We'll just run around him. He disappears when we come back out, I believe. Here's one of the other puzzles. For some reason, the uh, statues aren't there. I don't know why the other two statues aren't there. They've just disappeared. It doesn't make no sense. And he's not holding the red jewel either, which doesn't make any sense. We'll let it go, though. Just check if there's anything up around here before we uh, check the. Uh, oh, yeah, red herbs. Um, we'll leave them for now. We can always come back if we need them. I think we're alright. We've got plenty of healing items in the uh, box. Yeah, we'll discard that, get rid of that. Let's see what we've got in here. I know we get a first aid spray off Rebecca's desk. I think we get some bullets off Barry's desk. out of here. Perfect. That's us sorted for the game now that we've got that. Won't be using it for a while yet, but stick with a handgun for now. Shotgun when we get desperate. There we go, first aid spray. Oh, we've only got one uh, round in our handgun now. It's the desk of Rebecca, a rookie member of STARS. I believe this is our desk. Now the lockpick. Jill's the uh, master of unlocking, if you remember from the first game. Here we've got Chris Redfield's desk. Barry's desk. Which, yep, yeah, there we go. Got some handgun rounds on it. Brilliant. Definitely need them. Anything else around it? Desk of Barry, a Stars team member. A pair of replica guns are on the side. It's the desk of Wesker. Prick. Anything behind the desk? No. I don't think there's any Easter eggs if you click it like in Resident Evil 2, where you press it 50 times and you get the uh, picture of Rebecca Chambers. Picture of the uh, Stars members. Not many of them left now. Chris Redfield, marksman winner. Kendo. Oh yes, for the special samurai edges that, that um, the Stars members use as their handguns. You get one of them in uh, Resident Evil 2, the remake, if you uh, pre-order, I think. Big Robert Kendo. wonder how he's getting on. I believe we need to... Pre uh, go to leave the room. There we go. And now I think it's Carlos on here in the Umbrella Mercenaries. <laughs> All's not going too well for him. Must say, I thought Jill might have dressed a bit better for the uh, occasion. She's not exactly dressed appropriately for uh, no fighting zombies. This is Carlos.
Right. No, it still doesn't work, I don't think. Out of commission. Right, let's get going then. Go back downstairs and we can now leave the police station. Head further into town. Oh, I've just remembered what's coming next. I hate this bit. Yeah, the big fat zombie's gone now. There's no point wasting ammo on him. And off we go downstairs. <sighs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Here we go. Run! Surprise, motherfucker! It's nemesis! Stars. Go, 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 go. Before he cashes, he's got a flipping rocket launcher. Get through here as quick. Don't get stuck. Get out of here quickly. He doesn't follow you once you get to the main hall. I don't think. Could be wrong. Hope I'm not wrong. It does follow you in here though. Stars. There we go. We should be safe now. For now. Let's just get out of here quickly. Can we get anything from where Brad was? He's now moved. Ready for when you bump into him as Leon or Claire. Right, let's get out of here. Go into the next section. Nemesis will be following us again shortly. Absolutely love Nemesis. I love Nemesis and Jill that much. I've actually got a Resident Evil based um, Nemesis and Jill tattoo on my forearm. Which I love. Uh, I bet this guy's gonna have. Oh god, there's the uh, drain demon things that I mentioned before. The things that replace the liquors. Quite similar to the liquors. They have a horrible way of grabbing you. It's uh, they're, they're very creepy things, whatever the hell they are. Move on to the next area. Fire hydrant, we, we do need that later on to put out the fire where those zombie dogs were from the last episode. Uh, we'll come back and get it later on the way back this way. Some blue herbs, we don't need them just yet. Had a nasty crash there. Oh, zombie dogs. Docile as ever. Like I said, look, they're just not interested at all. Oh, this one is, though. The other two just didn't seem bothered at all by our presence. Just left us. I believe we're nearly at a safe room now. I think just go, yeah, let's go through this parking lot. I believe we need. Oh, we've got hit by one. We need those jump cables later on. I believe the gravedigger smashes up at you uh, here later as well. Or some herbs there, get them later on. Here we go, safe room. So we'll leave this episode here. Thank you so much everyone for watching again. Hope you've enjoyed. I've enjoyed it, absolutely love this game. Can't wait for the next episode. I hope you guys can't as well. And I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you, bye.